Yeah. You need to see progression in year three with quarterbacks. That's around the time that you want to see them ascend. But make no mistake about it, Graz, it's not just a make-or-break year for Mac. It's a make-or-break year for Bill Belichick, too. And I'm not saying that Belichick is in danger of being fired, but I could certainly see a world where the Patriots decide to transition Bill Belichick into the front office and go with a fresh face on the sideline. All you have to do is go back to Robert Kraft's comments at the owners' meetings late in March. What he said about Bill Belichick, I think Bill is exceptional at what he does, and I've given him the freedom to make choices and do things that need to be done. But in the end, this is a business. You either execute and win or you don't. That's where we're at. I think we're in a transition phase. Now, this is a team that hasn't won a playoff game in the last three years, out of the tournament two of the last three years. They're not used to being in this territory. Yeah. Mac Jones got to step his game up, and Bill Belichick got to step his game up. If those two guys are back in 2024 in their respective roles, that would mean that the Patriots exceeded our expectations from them coming into 2023. You did this to me last week. You dropped something right before I had to change subjects. And it was big. <laughs> no lies told, Graz. Make or break year for Bill no Belichick. No lies told, Graz. I lied for you. I'll never lie to you. No lies told. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.